And we're going on a boat trip on the Nagambo Lagoon for six gems and hopefully a crocodile. What if there's crocs around here? It could be. It could be. Yeah. Might, might be able to see a crocodile. Oh, that catches it. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Okay, so I want to give a big shout out to these guys right here because this has been the best accommodation experience we've had in all of Sri Lanka. Like, these guys have gone out of their way to help us this morning, getting as many gems as we could. They cooked up the best breakfast. So if you're in, um, where, where, where is this area located again? So this is 30. Yeah. It's around 30 kilometers east of the international airport, Mango Roots. Check it out because best place and best hospitality. Thanks guys, Thank it's been awesome. Thank you. Bye. Right, bye, thanks for everything. Oh man, such nice people. So right now, one of the guys from our accommodation is still helping us out. Like, um, we're just following him on his motorbike right now. He just helped us out find a lotus, so there's a little dam here. And we've been looking for a lotus for ages. It's just um, a certain lily pad flower, and that one's worth 10 gems. So we found that one, <laughs> finally. Um, and he's gonna take us to another place too. This, well, you just can't believe how out of the way these guys are going for us. to give you guys acts of kindness, but they're giving our acts of kindness. Mm. Alright, so we've done most of the quest around this area. Now we're finally making our way back to the west coast and we're going to head to a place called Nagambo and complete a few challenges around there and if we get enough time, we'll head back down to Colombo. So let's go! Steve. And we're going on a boat trip 
on the Nagambo Lagoon Four, six gems and hopefully a crocodile. What if there's crocs around here? It could be. Yeah. Might, might be able to see a crocodile. fruit in the water. Can you take a picture? Yeah. Well this is a different experience. Set up in the water. Just, just having a feed of paw paw. <laughs> Not bad at all. So we're just at the local fish market now. Um, I think we got here at the wrong time because everyone's sort of just packing up their stuff because it's later in the day. But oh my god, it absolutely reeks around here. The, you can see all these tarps? They just lay the fish all out on the tarps. Like there's a big, big tarp laid out here full of fish. And they're all just dry. They're all just sit out in the sun the whole entire day, just drying up and Stinking. Ugh. This is how they pack up all the fish. Just in these boxes. <laughs> Just chucking them all back in the boxes. And I'm guessing they would reuse it again for the next day. Mm, look at that. That's, I wonder how old these fish are. Just disgusting. Yeah. yeah. I don't think anything would be fresh around here. <laughs> one of our other challenges for today of 
cleaning up the beach and filling up one bag full. But sadly, it was just, we, we did it way too quick. Like, there is so much freaking rubbish around this area. It's nuts. It's just mountains and poles of rubbish. Uh, I don't think people really care about littering around here. Um, but right now, we're going to Colombo. So, we'll be making our way down and getting closer to the finish line, guys. Well, we have now made it to the wild and crazy Colombo again. So it is absolutely chaotic driving at this time of night. Like, you don't really want to be driving at this time of night, but we're gonna get our accommodation soon. I've just parked up the tuk-tuk there because there's one other challenge around the area, so Martin's running off to get that. But yeah, you, you don't want to leave a tuk-tuk around at night, um, in, especially in Colombo, because I, thi I think someone could steal something for sure. But yeah, it is just... For inexperienced drivers, do not try your hardest not to start in a city, because it is quite difficult driving in a city, especially if it's like peak hour traffic. Oh, thank God. So we just made it to a hostel in the city. We're in City Rest Fort. Uh, it seems like a pretty nice place actually, like they've got a lot of reviews on TripAdvisor. Um, so tomorrow is the last official day of the tournament. So there's still a few more challenges to do along the way, but tomorrow is when it all comes to an end and when we see who is going to be the 2019 Tuk Tuk Tournament winner. At the moment, we're third, but we're really relying on how many kilometres other people have done because if other people have gone over their Ks, then that's a little big demerit point taken off. So we shall see, guys. We shall see. But we're going to catch up on a few things tonight. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Follow your dreams. And I will see you on the last day of the Tuk Tuk tournament to see who wins. Yo! Right. Best recording, isn't it? Yeah. yeah.